How are you doing, YouTube? Matt with Massive Bear Reviews, back to get another review. Yeah, what do we have here today? A little bit of a tweener. Best word I can think of, brewery action, in the form of Reaction Brewing's Blood Orange Beast. It's a wheat beer, blood oranges. So, Reaction Brewing. Uh, out of Michigan, Justin um, wrote me. He's the guy who owns a brewery. It's kind of like, uh, you know, a super big setup. Like, you know, way bigger than the average home brewer, but just a hair below your kind of nano brewery. So it's kind of in that tweener realm, but he cans his own stuff. And he, he did threw a couple cans my way and said, hey, man, enjoy it if you'd uh, review them. So here we are. Um, blah, 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 blah. Uh, anyway, yeah, Blood Orange Beast is what it's called. On the side here, it says, The Blood Orange Beast was brewed in, as a base wheat beer then had a heaping portion of real blood oranges added during late fermentation. This beer is great summer drinking beer. 6.4% alcohol by volume. This is, uh, can date um, was September 17. Drink by date, the day after Christmas. This is the end of November, so we're within the limits that he set upon this. So, anyway, let's dive in and see what she's got. Uh, otherwise, it's okay. It's kind of like... um. Almost like bubble jet printer type kind of paper to it. The graphics are all right. They don't blow me away. I mean, not to poop on anybody's labels. But as far as homebrew go, you know, it's what it is. Let's put it that way. Um, index finger. Eh, nice kind of creamy fluffiness to it. Seems to be receding pretty quickly. Just off white head in a soft kind of orange haze to it. Looks very much New England IPA-ish. I mean, sure, you're looking at old school kind of super German weedy beer kind of haziness to it. Definitely has that kind of new school IPA vibes to it. So, see if we can get a blood orange on this sucker. Yes, you definitely get a heaping helping of orange in there, but there's a subtle tartness to it. Um, is that a time thing? Is that a negative thing? Is it a sideways thing? I'm not quite sure. But there's a real kind of acidity to it. There's a soft kind of sweet orange, but then there's a big kind of kind of slightly... I don't even go tart, not sour, but slightly kind of non-sweet and subtly. Let's go subtly tartness on there. That's pretty much it. It's more orange than anything, even though I know blood oranges kind of skew a little bit more kind of grapefruity than anything else, but it's kind of more orange with that kind of little bit of subtle kind of fleshy kind of over-ripened, stopped being sweet kind of before it gets kind of funky kind of oranginess to it. Those are words. Let's see what she tastes like. Cheers. It's actually really tasty. First thing I get is a wheat beer. I'm getting this nice big kind of wheat malt base with this really nice kind of mouthfeel to it. It's kind of kind of has this kind of earthy graininess to it. You're getting from that ton of wheat. And you get this nice kind of uh, hop citrus, I think, from it. I don't think that citrus is coming from that blood orange. It's actually more of kind of a bittering hop citrus than you have that big piled on kind of blood orange kind of thing going on. Again, like I said, blood orange is like a tweener thing. Tweener brewery, tweener thing. Um, it's not necessarily an orange, not necessarily grapefruit. Somewhere in between, that's what they land for me. And this is kind of where this does land. A little bit of grapefruit vibes, a little bit of orange vibes. But that wheat beer carries through and through. It tastes pretty damn delicious, actually. Probably one of the, if not the best wheat beer I've had from a pseudo home brewer. Let's put it that way. And that's the thing. People send me beers. I'm going to tell the truth. You know, that's my whole, I hang my hat on that shit. You know, am I honest to a fault sometimes? Maybe. But I just have no other way to process stuff. So it's kind of how I do things. So... Uh, I'm not sitting here just saying fluff because some dude kind of randomly threw me some beers. No, I'm going to say what comes into the old noggin or the mouth, whichever way you want to uh, view it. And uh, yeah, nice kind of wheat presence to it. And there's a citrus hop vibe that kind of shines to it along with that kind of blood orange juice thing. A lot of times with these kind of heavily juiced beers, I feel like they fall off or kind of go a little bit sideways after a couple months. This has been canned for several months now. It's three months now. So it could easily have gone kind of sideways, but it hasn't. So just a kind of testament of the kind of well-made cleanliness of the beer to begin with. That's pretty much it. It's definitely a wheat beer. When you go into these, 
like blood orange this and hop that kind of wheat bases, you assume, okay, somebody's just trying to use the wheat as kind of that uh, kind of haze thing a lot of people end up doing with like a yeast or other forms or fashions of bits and pieces and kind of hop it from there. This actually tastes like a semi-aggressively hopped wheat beer with a bit of blood orange in it. It's exactly what it says on the title and exactly what you're getting. Um, at this point, I usually go through the whole kind of, you know, is it one of the better and how much did it cost its home brewery? I usually skip that and just say it's a really tasty beer. So Justin over there, Reaction Brewing, obviously knows what he's doing from a wheat beer front. Those are the two beers he sent me. So, you know, if you ever get some stuff from him, and especially if it's a wheat beer, you're probably going to be a fan of it. If you do like wheat beers, and they skew a little bit more American than kind of old school German style, but a wheat beer nonetheless. Um, but if he ends up kind of ramping it up and taking a dive and opening a real legit brewery, which is what he wants to do, I'm sure he can do things. Scaling can be a tough road to hoe, but, uh, you know, if this is what he's doing with these beers, hopefully, uh, probably do much the same on a bigger setup so there you go another review in the books hopefully you guys enjoyed it uh, if you did didn't anywhere in between down there words and stuff and things facebook twitter instagram untapped massive beers all four of those places and yeah another review down so hopefully you guys enjoyed the review hopefully enjoying a nice weeded blood orangey homebrew pseudo homebrew right now and hopefully see you next time cheers <laughs>